Hey little ones, this is a special message for all of you. You know what I would normally do after celebrating the Eucharist, which I just finished on Sundays? I would make one nice announcement before the choir would begin its final hymn. Does anyone remember what was that announcement I would make? Doesn't matter if you forgot it. I would say from that particular mic, all those children who have not come up to receive Holy Communion, please come forward for a blessing. And then what would I do? This. So I would come right down here and children by the dozens would come running up to me, some little brother holding his little sister's hand or some children racing forward to me first. And I would put my hand and give a little blessing or a little tapki on the cheeks to the little children. But you can see today, unfortunately, there are no children coming forward for a blessing. It's very sad, my dear children, because all these days, for more than a month now, I've been celebrating Mass at this altar, but I've been celebrating Mass to an empty church. If you can see, all the pews are absolutely empty. What I would normally do is I would take the cordless mic and I would come down for children's mass and I would ask questions, hands would come up and I'd be so excited because I would have that opportunity to meet all of you, to come up there and to ask questions. But anyway, children, it doesn't matter about that. What we're gonna do is I'm going to just share with you a few things quickly so that we can at least make a connect so that you know that I'm still around, I know that you're still around. I hope during this period of lockdown, my dear children, you've used these weeks productively. I know sometimes it's difficult for us to stay in the house all the time. The same faces, the same boring things to do, maybe even the same boring people that we are meeting again and again and again. But doesn't matter. Life is more than just being boring. And I have done some very interesting things in this period of lockdown. One of the most important things that I managed to do was I managed to spend a lot of more of my time in prayer. You see, because I was so busy with one activity after another, organizing some event or the other, I hardly had time to talk to Jesus. And that's one of the biggest things that I could possibly do during this period of lockdown. Spend a lot more time in prayer, making my connect once again with Jesus. First of all, telling him how sorry I am for all the wrong things that I've been doing, but also seeking his grace, graces and blessings so that I can continue to offer myself to be at the service of people, at the service of children. That was the first important thing. So therefore, my dear children, I do hope during this period of lockdown, you've spent time in prayer. Some of you hopefully would have sat in front of your TVs or in front of your YouTube channels, watching the masses either on Sunday or every day and have received some spiritual nourishment from all of this. We're also having some nice little faith formation sessions every day in the evening being offered by the Archdiocese of Bombay and I do hope some of you have been following that. So we've begun the month of May and therefore this month is dedicated to our Blessed Mother. Normally we'd have a number of people standing in front of our grotto coming to pray the rosary. Nobody yesterday, brother and myself, took our walk in the church compound. One lady came because she wanted to pray in front of the grotto. Nobody else to pray in front of the grotto. We cannot come out of our houses because of lockdown. It's better to stay at home, maintain social distancing. But, my dear children, encourage mommy and daddy. Every day in this month of May, we are going to sit together as a family and we are going to pray the rosary. What a beautiful thing that would be if every day you fix a time the whole family is sitting together and pray the rosary. Offer up that rosary, my dear children, for a quick end to this coronavirus. Pray in a very special way for families that have been affected, for people who have lost their jobs, for the economy. Pray that life will soon return back to normal. So that is the first important thing. The second good thing that you could have possibly done, and I'm hoping you did it, was to develop your creative skills, arts and craft, music, singing, playing a musical instrument, whatever it is, I do hope you have indeed 
done something productive as far as your skills are concerned. Well, brother and I would sit on the terrace every evening from 6 to 7. Of course, we'd pray for some time, but then we'd also gossip, we'd chat, we'd look around at other people walking on the terraces. And on one terrace very close by to the church, we would see this, these parents coming up with their son, a little son and daughter, and they were playing hockey on the terrace. What a nice way to spend time as a family. So I do hope, my dear children, you have done something productive, something creative to enhance your own skills during this period of lockdown. Thirdly, the Cardinal sent us a very important message, especially for us priests. He says, I hope you are reading. And this is something important. You see, my dear children, during our school time, we're so busy with studying, studying, studying. We're reading, no doubt, but we're reading our textbooks. Go back to reading some nice book, something interesting, something that will give you some more knowledge, something that will even perhaps improve your English language. And therefore, get back to reading. Hopefully, by the end of this lockdown, you'll have come back and told me, Father, I finished reading eight books, ten books, four books, one book. But at least read, my dear children. It's important. Spend lesser time on the TV. I know everyone is talking about Netflix today. But spend less time on TV. Don't watch too much of Cartoon Network, Pogo, Dorimon, whatever. I don't know all those characters. But perhaps use that time productively to gain something as far as your knowledge is concerned. I hope you've been learning something and have been truly improving your skills. And finally, my dear children, what's going to happen for the rest of the month of May? Lockdown number three has started. Another two weeks, we are all going to be stuck at home. Okay? Don't get bored. Be excited. It's a blessing in disguise. I believe the Lord wants us to spend a lot more time together at home with our families. A lot more time thinking about what we have done to this world and God's creation and how we need to change and improve it. We are celebrating this weekend Good Shepherd Sunday. That's what the gospel is all about. Jesus the Good Shepherd. And therefore I'm asking you to do something creative. First of all, hear Mass. Listen carefully to what Father Felix is going to tell us in his homily. I'm sure there's an important message for all of us on this Good Shepherd Sunday. But one important thing that you can do, and this is where you are going to test your creative skills. You see, all of you will be good in craft or in art. I'm asking you to do some craft this week. Find out some of the materials that I have at home that I can use to make something look like the Good Shepherd scene. How would you explain the gospel to me, my dear children? Very creatively by doing some art or craft. All you've got to do is do it nicely, cut perhaps a nice sheep, have a picture of Jesus the Good Shepherd there, or perhaps do a nice artwork and drawing, something creative, take a photograph of it, send it to your own Sunday school teacher, and your teacher will forward it to me, and perhaps the best one will get a nice little prize when the church reopens once again. My dear children, use this time well. I am certainly missing all of you. Know that. I'm holding back all my tears because I would love to see children all around me. Somebody running away from me, somebody coming and pulling my cassock like this, somebody joining hands for a blessing, somebody waiting and asking me for a chocolate, or I grabbing a chocolate from someone else, or the bigger children were nice tucky, I would give them like that on the face, every time they would come for a blessing. I'm missing you, my dear children. But there was a nice caption that I read many, many years ago. In love, you don't miss. So know this, that I love each and every one of you. I'm sending across to you a tight hug. I can't do that. There's nobody around me just now. But I'm sending you a nice tight hug. And I'm sending you the love, joy, peace and blessings of Jesus. Be blessed, my dear children, and stay safe. God loves you, and I love you.